If you could see the world through my eyes, vibrant purple sun. Mark here, Life and Fitness Files. Today, I wanted to talk about breathing and a specific study talking about a few different types of breathing that help support lowering anxiety and in boosting your mood and how you can use this information to lower stress in your life. The study is called Brief Structured Respiration Practices Enhance Mood and Reduce Physiological Arousal. The authors, there were many in this study, included Dr. Andrew Huberman and Dr. David Spiegel. I'm a huge fan of Dr. Andrew Huberman's podcast and he's had Dr. David Spiegel on as a guest multiple times. In this study, they show evidence that people who practice what they called cyclic sighing breath work, which really means a one to two inhale exhale ratio, practice five minutes per day for one month, experienced reduced physiological arousal, less perceived stress and enhanced mood. So this is something that you can take and implement into your own life. I'm going to make sure there's a link in the description below if you want to look at further details. They broke down a few different breathing types, first of which was the physiological sigh. They also included box breathing and cyclic hyperventilation, and then there was also mention of meditation. I'm really going to talk about the physiological sigh and box breathing. So box breathing is pretty straightforward, so I'm going to talk about that one first. And it's probably something that you are familiar with, but in case you are not, box breathing really is thinking of a box with four equal sides. What it entails is inhaling for, let's say, four counts. You're going to hold for the equivalent of four counts. You're going to exhale for four counts and hold for four counts. So you think of a box. Four, 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 four. You could make this six, 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 six. 8888. What you want to make sure is that you don't start with too long of a duration so you don't run out of breath and feel like you have to gasp for air. So start smaller, even if it's two or three beats, hold, two or three beats, exhale, hold. There you have box breathing. Pretty straightforward, accessible by anyone. This is something that I've heard is used in high stretch situations, including Navy SEALs, first responders, etc. Accessible and it works. Now what was even more effective was what they called cyclic sighing, but I've heard Dr. Andrew Huberman refer to it as the physiological sigh. So really what this is, is an inhale where you fill up your lungs fully and take one additional quick breath to make sure you expand your lungs to the full capacity, then you exhale a strong, long exhale that's twice as long as the inhale. So really, if you're breathing in for, say, two beats with a full inhale, you have a forceful, longer exhale. So it'd be something like this. Pretty straightforward, but it's a little bit different than the box breathing. However, it is found to be the most effective for reducing stress and helping your body to calm down. What they found is that this physiological sigh helps to bring our breathing rate back down and helps reset our nervous system. This is one of the few ways that we can tap in to our autonomic nervous system. We have our sympathetic nervous system, which is our fight or flight, and then our parasympathetic nervous system, often referred to as rest and digest. This helps us tap into our parasympathetic nervous system and bring everything back down. When you exhale, it actually helps lower your heart rate. When you're inhaling, it actually increases your heart rate. And obviously this is a push-pull and balances itself out. If you are breathing in, then have a longer exhale, it's going to help slow down our heart rate tapping into our parasympathetic nervous system and helping bring down arousal, anxiety, or stress. The other thing that the physiological side helps with is the oxygen exchange. By having that deep inhale with a second quick inhale, we fully expand our lungs and the sacs within our lungs. This then helps us on that longer exhale 
to make sure that we get rid of all of the carbon dioxide. This is going to help our oxygen exchange to make sure that we're getting the full oxygen possible in our lungs. Consequently, this physiological side also helps with emotional regulation. It can help us reset our emotional state in times when we're feeling overwhelmed, anxious. If we do a physiological sigh with that longer exhale, it can help bring it back down so we can get back into the right mindset. I find this study incredibly important in that it shows that we can tap into our autonomic nervous system and bring down anxiety and stress in a pretty easy, cost-neutral way that's accessible to anyone. If you're looking for a way to help bring down stress in your life, try this practice of physiological sigh or the box breathing if that's easier for you. Five minutes per day over a period of one month showed incredible benefits, but you can just use it as needed. It might be after an exercise, it might be during a stressful moment or after a stressful moment to help bring everything back down, get back into the right mindset and help your body to reset. This study is linked below so you can check it out for more details. I hope this video helps you on your fitness and wellness journey. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with content. Here's to life and fitness. Peace out.